In this example, we want to find the derivative of the given function using this limit definition for the derivative. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, evaluate the function at x plus delta x. Okay, so let's do that over here. Okay. Okay, so we're given our function of x squared plus 1. So we're going to replace x with x plus delta x. So we have x plus delta x squared plus 1. Um, and then we can go ahead and multiply this out. So we're going to get x squared plus 2x times delta x plus delta x squared plus 1. Okay. So in this definition, by the way, uh, delta x here is, uh, or sometimes in, in some other books, they may use h instead of delta x. Okay. So delta x and h is the uh, really the same meaning. Okay. All right. So we have our expression here. Okay. For the function value x plus delta x. Now we can plug that back into our limit definition. Okay. So we have the limit. as delta x approaches 0 of, so x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 1, okay, so this part, all right, is this part here, okay, and then minus, so minus the original function, so you have to be careful, um, make sure that you take and subtract the everything in that function okay so it's a good idea to put parentheses around that around our function okay and all this is going to be divided by delta x okay so so from here we just need to uh, go ahead and simplify it okay and then take the limit Uh, so we're going to get x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 1 minus x squared minus 1, all divided by delta x. Okay. All right, so uh, things should cancel out. Okay, so this is going to, x squareds will cancel out, 1s will cancel out. And so we're left with 2x times delta x plus delta x squared, all divided by delta x. Okay, and this is equal to the limit of delta x. Okay, we, we can go ahead and factor out delta x. So that's going to give us uh, or leave us with 2x plus delta x. Okay, all divided by delta x. So we take the limit of this as delta x goes to 0. And so by factoring out delta, delta x, this cancels out. Okay, and so we're left with the limit as delta x goes to 0 of 2x plus delta x. So as delta x goes to 0, uh, this is going to leave us with 2x. Okay. All right, so it's important to understand that the limit, you're taking the limit here as delta x goes to 0. Or, okay, it's not x is approaching 0, it's, it's delta x is approaching 0. Okay, so this leaves us with the value of 2x. Okay, therefore, this is the, uh, uh, 2x is the derivative of our function. Okay, so the derivative of our function is 2x. Okay, all right, so that's how you find the derivative of a function using the limit definition, okay?